perfect. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. Well, well, well. I haven't made one of these videos in a while. Well, it looks like the Lego Animal Series is back. So let's just get straight on with it. Last time I made a video like this, it was three months ago when I made a video about my Lego blue footed booby. After that, I ran out of useful bricks and I ran out of ideas. However, after getting some inspiration, I'm back into these videos, and I'm glad that I am. However, I will still be working on story time and animations at the same time. Anyway, this episode, I will be focusing on a Malayan tapir. I think that they are amazing animals, and would look great when built out of Lego. The things that I thought would be hard to build are nose, ears, and legs. However, they turned out fine. So here it is, my Malayan tapir, made out of Lego. I'm going to show you a bit around him, and I'll show you some of his key features. So here is his snout. I didn't make it look too derpy. I made it look as good as I could make it. And then there's his ears. And I really like how I made those ears, because other pieces wouldn't fit for ears. And then I found this amazing piece. I'm just going to try to take it off to show you. Yeah. It has two things sticking out of the side, and I think it looks really good, and it's very useful for ears, and as you can just see, I've just accidentally pushed one of the legs off, so I might as well show you what the legs, what the front legs look like. So there's a hinge piece with one of those pieces, and it's flat at the bottom, so it should let him stand up. Yeah. I'm just going to try to attach it back on. And they, the front feet easily fall off. So yeah, you can stand them up. They stand quite flat down. And he's just standing there like that. You can turn him around. And are there any more pieces? Oh yeah, there's the eye, which is a stud. Which is a stud attached onto things. He had a back legs, similar to the front legs, but not the same. And... You can pose him in different ways. So here you can be like standing on his toes. Yeah, the back legs. They're a bit weird, but that's the best I can do for the back legs. And here's the white back and belly it has, like the real Malayan tapirs have. And here's the smooth surface on the back. And yeah, I think it looks really good. I think I made it quite well. So, I'm just going to zoom out and do a 360 degree view of him. There we go. Now, let's turn him round. And you know what time of the show this is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Information and Evaluation. Information. Okay, so information is the only part of the whole show which is completely improvised. The rest has a script. So in this part, I basically open up a Wikipedia as I record this and read what I see about the Malayan tapir. Okay, so the Malayan tapir, Tapirus indicus, is also called the Asian tapir, and is the largest of the five species of tapir, and the only one native to Asia. Yeah, I knew that. The others live in... South America, is it? And what's about them? Um, their natural... Wait. The scientific name refers to East Indies, the species' natural habitat. And... Any other things. So... You know, I actually can't find any information. This is a very not useful page. Okay, behaviour... Malayan tapirs are primarily nocturnal creatures, marking out large track, tracts of land in their territory. Through those areas, usually overlap with those of other individuals. I don't understand a single word of this. Um, and it's all about skeletons and stuff now, I don't know. This part always gets me. I never actually understand the most of the parts of information. You know what, next? Evaluation! Okay, so now I've got to evaluate whatever I've just built. So, I think that my Malayan tapir, compared to the real animal, 
Looks alright. I don't think it looks perfect, but I think it actually looks really good and resembles it. And as usual, I compare mine to other people's. And on Google, I searched Lego Tapia, and unfortunately, mine's not the best on the internet. I've seen this thing that someone managed to build, and I think it's amazing. Whoever built this, you should feel proud. It's really good, and it certainly has impressed me. And I've really enjoyed making this video and coming back to these videos. It's actually really fun coming back to videos after you haven't done them in a long time. So, I've got one question to ask everyone. What's your favourite Lego animal that I've built so far? If you haven't seen any, then watch my, some of my older videos, which are about three months old, about some other animals which I've built, such as the giant anteater, a sloth, and other animals. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.